Hello and welcome. I'm Laura, Canva Creator, Canva Creator Ambassador for the UK, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to very quickly create the splatter effect, make it look as though an image or an element is sort of splattering across your page. It's a fun thing to do, and it's so super, super simple and easy to do but it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna take you over to my screen and I'm gonna run through how we do it. Okay, so here we are, right. We basically need a blank template. So I am going to click create a design. I'm gonna just go for a blank Facebook size template. And now we need our element, the one that we're going to have this splatter effect coming from. So I'm going to type in, I used a sunflower. I really like the sunflower. Um, so I want to be in elements. Sunflower. I really thought it was very pretty. Um, and we can pick something from here you can choose whatever you want you can upload your own element for example do this however works best for you this is a really lovely one so i'm going to use this i'm going to make it quite big because i'm going to have this splatter effect coming across the page so i'm putting it in the bottom <clears throat> in the bottom corner now to create the splatter effect again we're in elements and we want to use an actual paint splatter. So this is a really nice one. As you can see, it's got a lot of fine splatter marks in. And if I change the color to white, you can begin to see how this is gonna work. I'm now duplicating this and putting it across the section of the design that I want to fade away, okay? So it's literally duplicate over and over and over again until the edge of your design starts to fade out. So it can take some time to do this. So if I just do this super quickly and I will show you. Normally I would take my time in doing this, but I just, I don't want this video to be overly long. Everyone's got things to do and places to be and children to pick up from school and stuff like that. So you can now see that I've been duplicating it and it started to fade out across the page. Now we want to put a splatter effect in that represent the colors within your element. So maybe something like this one. And then if you have got pro, I think this is on pro only. If you click on the dot, it might be on free, double check, there's a color picker. So I can now take the color from my element I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times. I'm going to then pick a lighter color and duplicate that. And you're just placing it where your image would have been. I'm going to move them out a bit. It's all a trial and error, it really is. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to try and take a color from the center. There we go. Then we start going across the page. I'm going to change the color of this one again to a color within the design, just send it back a bit. Change 
duplicate that one. And you can start to see it's beginning to change. There's a lot on here now. So I'm just going to stretch it out. I'm going to move that darker one down here, try and balance the colors out a little bit. There we go. So can you see how I've been doing this? So we've got the main image. We're adding a white splatter, a nice fine one like this one here. It's called black ink splatter. Change it to white, duplicate it loads and loads and loads of times across the part of your image that you want to fade out or you want to have the splatter effect. And then take a slightly larger uh, paint splatter. This one, for example, which is called it's called Untitled, um, or a different type of splatter effect. There are different ones you've got, dependent on the effect that you want to create with your, your design. And then just pick out the colors within your element and change them, change the splatter effects. So I've got a darker one here because the center of the flower is darker. And then I've kind of got a more golder one here, and I've got a lighter one here. Um, this. I'm going to take that one out, that really dark one. That's better. So now my colors are fading and going out so much nicer. I want this one to be, I'm going to choose a color picker. I want it to be a really, really light yellowy color. So I'm trying to pick colors at the ends of the petals so that it kind of represents the petals going out and splattering out of the effect out of the, um, the image. So there we go. That is my very, very quick attempt at the splatter effect. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it's a fun thing to do. It doesn't take very long to do and you haven't got to be perfect with it. You can create, add your element in, choose the area you want to have that splatter effect on and then just put the splatter elements on top of it over and over and over again in the white or the same color as your background if you've got a colored background so that it tends to it disappears it makes the element look like it's disappearing into the background there's nothing there and then you can add splatter effects on top using the same colors within the element so i hope that makes sense i hope you have a go at it um, and if you've enjoyed this video please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Lots, lots and lots of new videos all coming very, very soon.